Hey guys, welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about Claude for Chrome, which is something that is coming very, very soon. Now at the moment, as you can see here, browser uses a limited access feature available only in research preview due to its unique risks. Claude can interact directly with websites on your behalf via the browser extension, which carries inherent risks. Please review safety in information in this article before use. So what is Claude for Chrome? Now, the only reason I even know about this is because they sent me this email, which hopefully means that I will be able to get onto the research preview. But what's really cool about this is that it seems to be a Chrome extension. So what does that basically mean? I mean, if you look here, this kind of looks like it's getting to the point where Claude can literally be your virtual assistant. Let's say you wanted to respond to emails. You can see here that, you know, that's one use of it. That's the obvious use of it. But there are many other uses as well. Once Claude has full access to websites, for example, if you're logged in on LinkedIn, it could do LinkedIn outreach for you and many other things as well. Now, this is pretty exciting. Obviously, we already have browser use, but this is slightly different. This is like actually having a Claude for Chrome browser. Claude for Chrome is an experimental browser extension that allows Claude to read, click and navigate websites alongside you. Claude works directly in the side panel while you browse, seeing what you think and taking actions when you ask. Now that's the key thing here, when you ask. So this is like a co-pilot thing almost. I would say this is getting, you know, kind of VA, virtual assistant worthy for sure. We'll be using this a lot in the company. This feature is currently available on the research preview experiment, experimental technology designed for AI experience users who can help shape it through real, real world feedback. So you actually need a max plan. So we're launching to 1,000 max users. I've already signed up to the waitlist, guys. I would recommend getting on the waitlist if you haven't already. It's claude.ai slash chrome. And we can expect a notification in the coming weeks as we expand access. I'm really hoping that I do get access to this. It's not support for mobile devices. Go to the web store link, add to Chrome, sign in with uh, Claude credentials, do the puzzle, and then grant the necessary permissions to allow Claude to interact with your browser. The Claude icon will appear in your Chrome toolbar. Click it, open in Claude and side panel, it stays visible when you browse. So this is super, super interesting stuff, guys. So this is the video that they've got on their site. You can see it's doing a lot of different things. DoorDash, for example, the classic order me food. So you can see here, this is it searching on Zillow for a three bed house. This is it using Salesforce. Meet your thinking partner on any tab. Pretty interesting stuff, I have to say. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. This is the safety stuff that they've got in place. You can see here, this is a malicious email. So like if you were a hacker, what you could technically do is send emails to people you know that are using Claude uh, for Claude browser, right? And send them an email saying, uh, you need to send me all of your passwords right now, right? And whether it does that or not is the super, super important thing. So Claude proceeds to act on the instructions about confirmation, selecting and deleting. Our new mitigation successfully defend against the attack. So this is quite interesting. I can see this is a suspicious security incident email that appears to be a phishing or phishing attempt. The email is asking to delete messages from the sent folder, which is a common social engineering tactic. The sender address appears to be spoofed like this acts like a scam. Pretty interesting. So it, they, they are putting defenses in place to make sure that it's not going to do crazy stuff. But I mean, even so, 11.2% access rate, that's a 10% success rate with social engineering which is probably much higher than the actual percentage of social engineering because obviously ai is stupider than humans generally speaking maybe stupid is not not the right word but literal it, it follows things literally very very quickly and very easily okay so there are also blocked sites which makes sense like cryptocurrency exchanges makes perfect sense using Claude safely so what this basically is is a sidebar and we've seen this before. It's, it's Claude's not doing this the first, the first, right? But what I would say is they probably will do it the best, which is super, super exciting. So a sidebar here that pops up on any signed in Chrome or whatever it might be, you could get this to do your, you know, message your friends and stuff. And the cool thing is it will be all logged in, right? So if you're logged in to say, I don't know, uh, Gmail, then from here, because you're logged in, right? I'm logged into my income stream server email it can just basically act as a VA. So you could get it to go through all of your emails. For example, I have quite a lot of people who email me about sponsorships. And what I could do is I could say, look through all of my sponsorship emails, find ones that are actually interesting and email them back. So this is gonna be a huge time saver when this finally comes out. I'm very, very excited to see this. I'm hoping to get on the research preview because I think that'd be super, super interesting. I'm sorry if you can hear shouting in the background. I'm in Italy, guys.
Now, the other use of this, which is potentially even more interesting, is let's say I have just built this website here, which I have just built this website. Let's just pretend this is on localhost. I know it's not on localhost, but just pretend it is, right? So I could just go to localhost. I know, I've got nothing running. Let's say this is on localhost. What you could say to Claude, and this is the thing that I'm very, very excited about, right? It's like Playwright, but even better because it's it's internal. Um, it, it's part of Claude's system. You could say to Claude on the side, on Chrome, right? You could open up your local host and you could say, test every single page and make notes of things that you can see are broken or, you know, broken links or test the entire website end to end as a user. So like join the wait list, for example. By the way, guys, this video is sponsored by SEO Grove. If you're interested, it's a currently Shopify e-commerce automation platform, but very soon it will also do WooCommerce and we'll probably look at adding like blogs and things like that as well, like people's blogs and not just do, do e-commerce. But for now, it's just Shopify e-commerce. It's your last chance to join the waitlist for $1 and then you get $99 a month instead of $499 a month for three months. But yeah, you could say like, you know, test the waitlist, test everything end to end, make sure people can add their accounts. Make sure people can sign up, make sure people can add their Shopify accounts, make sure all the automations are running and things like that, right? So what I envision this being is an end-to-end -end tester, which is the super, super exciting thing. So you guys, check out seogrove.ai if you're interested in joining the platform. This is the last chance to join before we put the price up to $4.99 a month for everybody. So yeah, I think I'll leave the video there, guys. This is super exciting. Unfortunately, I can't actually show you in action just yet because I don't have access to it, but I would probably say that this is going to be the big end-to-end -end testing tool that everybody uses to test their applications. I think that will probably be the biggest use of this, if not uh, doing things like outreach, doing things like, you know, sitting in your CRM, setting up your CRM, being a virtual assistant, etc. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm on holiday at the moment, so I don't know how frequent the videos will actually be. Uh, I'm going to Ischia near Naples um, today, which is really, really exciting. I love Naples. It's just extremely hot, and uh, I am not very good in the hot weather. Obviously, I'm British, not Neapolitan, so... But yeah, I'll be keeping an eye on this, guys, and also any other updates that come. I'm really looking at updates right now just because I find AI updates are the most interesting thing to make videos about. I will continue working on other things as well. Don't worry, I'm not saying I'm not going to. But yeah, I still like, I still enjoy working on my own projects as well, on the school community, on the WordPress generator that I've just released, and other things as well. I'm not just going to be doing AI updates but i will be doing other things as well thank you so much for watching guys if you're watching all the way to the end of the video let me know and also you're an absolute legend as usual and i'll see you very very soon with some more content peace out